Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Father Mark. We're going to talk about the wisdom of Fulton Sheen. Uh, he gives us just one small phrase to think on today. And that phrase is, everyone else who, is, who was ever born into the world came in it into it to live. Our Lord came into it to die. We think from the very first moments of his birth, uh, when the three kings come to him, or the magi from the east come to him, are from gold, frankincense, and of course myrrh, that uh, one of those realizations that uh, the anointing at death. Uh, throughout his whole life, he keeps on pointing to his death as the moment, uh, reminding people that it isn't the miracles, it isn't the words, it isn't the, the company that he keeps, but rather it is pointing towards his death. And so far as when St. Peter says to him, don't talk about that anymore. He says, get behind me, Satan. Don't distract me from what my father's goal is for the redemption of the world, for the salvation of your soul, my soul, everyone's soul, for the forgiveness of sins. It happens through the life, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And in some ways, while we come into this world to live, we also come into this world to die to ourselves. St. Paul reminds us of that in his writings, where he says, I have died to myself so that I may be saved. It's one of the great spiritual traditions of our, of our Catholic faith, of, of dying to sin so that we might live to our Lord, to die to those passions that, that distract us from the Lord. Not that we aren't called to be a passionate people. Once again, that is, that's a lie that we aren't called to love and to laugh and to celebrate. But we are called to do it in the direction of God, not in the direction of the world. So anyways, that is our wisdom from Bishop Sheen today. I wish you all a very happy and holy day. Uh, today is the memorial of St. John and Isaac, Jesuit martyrs, and their companion, Jesuit martyrs of North America, who came to die to this world so that they might live eternally in Jesus Christ. Anyways, God loves you. I will pray for you. Please keep me in your prayers. And all your, my fellow and brother priests in, my, in your prayers too. God bless. Have a great day.